Okay, Shalom, I'm going to do a reading. Um, I also, if you did not watch the previous video, I don't know who and when and how you ran across this video, but there was a video that I did um, prior to this video that I talked about the word bear, B-E-A-R. Um, I, I touched a little bit about the word dog, meaning Elohim, and uh, I forgot to mention on that video that Elohim itself, the word Elohim, actually will break down to the number eight as well. And I went all about over the number eight. Um, it's funny because the bear will eat the fish. And the word fish will break down to a 15, which will be a six. But the 15 in uh, the cards is um, Saturn, or we would call the devil card. Um, so anyway, th there's a lot to that. I'm not going to get into that because I really want to do a reading here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Thank you, sweet spirit, for truth and understanding. Excuse me. It's my shirt. <laughs> Lean into one side. I'm feeling uncomfortable. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Getting a lot of downloads today. Ooh, we got a lot of them. We got the Three of Swords. We got heartbreak coming out here, grief and suffering and gossip and betrayal. That came out yesterday as well. Uh, we have the King of Swords trying to make a head over heart decision, being disciplined. This is about truth, maybe truth about a heartache, truth about gossip, truth about um, betrayal. I, I, I know that. I need people to come forth, but I'm I'm not asking for it anymore. If you want to come forth, come forth. If you don't, whatever. Um, I feel like I've gotten on here and cried and begged and screamed and it's just whatever. I can't make, I can't, you know, <laughs> it's like pulling teeth. But anyway, we have the death card coming out, which actually, the death card is beautiful because it represents um, an end of a cycle and a new beginning. So this is beautiful. So... Um, people are dealing with heartache and suffering and grief and trying to get through gossip and um, trying to make those truthful head over heart decisions and taking the leadership and um, ending situations that actually need to be ended and healed. You know, in, in the natural, when we experience a death of any kind, People get together and, you know, they're at the funeral and, and a lot of this, there's been a lot of death <laughs> spiritually and physically in, in the in the world, everywhere. It happens all day long in birth. Things that are being born also happen all day long every day as well. And it's also connected to death um, because the, the mother who carries the baby, the death of being pregnant has occurred, but then life occurs outside of that. So, I mean, you get so many different things from the death the death card itself but this is representing a change which is beautiful um i said the other day that you can't have peace without some kind of chaos existing and so the positive and the negative are always there it's just what we choose and how we choose to operate within that there's transformation here there's new hope here today which is beautiful and the king of swords represents taking that leadership and cutting away all of the heartbreak um, which is not easy to do, um, but that sword represents truth, and truth hurts sometimes, but it's um, beneficial for us. Um, we had a couple more cards that came out here. The King of Pentacles is also coming out here. So there's two kings here. Um, this could represent um, just aspects of yourself. Um, we all can either get in a high vibration or a low vibration. The King of Pentacles represents having abundance, and this is about having abundance within the heart. Um, first card out um, has to do with heartbreak. It's the Three of Swords, betrayal, and things like that. Um, but this is about being stable. It's an earth energy, uh, slow, move slow moving um, earth energy, but it is kingship. And kingship is um, high vibration. Um, this is security. This is somebody who's grounded or um, someone needing to be grounded on the inside after a change has occurred, after truth has come out. Um, and being very abundant and stable within that. 
We have the Five of Swords coming out, which is it's still hard energy. Um, unbridled ambition. Change. Again, five represents change. Um, death is, is definitely a change. Um, but it's a new, it's a new change. It's, it, it can be positive or negative. Again, uh, up to you uh, and up to me. It's uh, Five of Swords talks about um, defeat. You know, when we go through suffering and grief and a death of any kind, it, it we do feel defeated a lot because then you're just, you're just standing there saying, "Now what? What do I do? How do I how do I function?" And you know, with the King of Pentacles coming up at, up here and it being Earth energy, um, it, it's like you can look at that and say, "Okay, well, it's a new seed going into the ground, and it takes time for a seed to grow. Uh, seed." time and then harvest occurs um so you know change heartbreak truth coming out you know being grounded trying to find stability after this um change and transformation but there's definitely new hope here um somebody out there is um dealing with winning at all cost which is beautiful if you're doing it in an upright fashion, if you're being fair. Um, five is about conflict, disagreements, things like that. Also, five can deal with, on the opposite side of that, reconciliation, which is beautiful. Um, I really feel like uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles also coming out here. So we've got two kings and a knight. And so these, get, you know, the court cards represent people. Uh, it can be just you functioning as you know sometimes maybe you might feel humbled in you know being like it's showing up as a knight within your situation or showing up as a king um you can look at these cards in so many different ways um but what we got three cards out here with swords two of these cards are lower my my uh lower minor arcana cards which is the five and the three and I just spoke about the number eight on that last video and about the eight representing well the eighth house being Scorpio and things that have been hidden and um, heartbreak and suffering has been hidden and uh, there's been some hidden betrayal and I know I've I've dealt with being betrayed and it's been hidden on who and what and why and how and what's going on and so you know if you're watching this it's some you're either within that somehow on whatever side only you know um but what i love about this is that death is here and there's a death of a situation even though death is hard you're forced to have to change when um a, situ a situation comes to an end. Um, but I love the fact that we've got the word security here. And so if you will stand up, and, and kingship is here. And this isn't something that, you know, kings have to um, be strong. They're in that, they sit up on the throne for a reason, because they are strong. Um, but yet they can also be humble, and they um, direct the knights and the pages. And uh, within the, the card deck here, um, Kings give order; they don't take them. Um, but if if you show up humbly as a king, you can also sit with things and um, be moved by something that is humbling as well. Because the Knight of Pentacles also slow moving energy. This could be um, these the kings can represent uh, fathers. Um, uh, grandparents, uh, the knights can represent children, older children, um, the knight of pentacles um, being an earth energy here is somebody who's hardworking and responsible and uh, yet they're slow moving. Um, but the, the thing I love about earth energy, and I have a lot of earth in my chart as well, it, it grounds me because my fire sometimes I'm being, you know, I've talked about this before, you know, being Sagittarius, your fire sign. And I yelled the other day on that. Um, I'm truthful because that's part of my sign, but um, earth will ground us. And um, I, I at least um, am grateful for the earth that I do have in my chart because such as can be scattered. And so that really grounds me. Although um, sometimes um, sometimes you need to come across scattered, not, not in a bad way, but 
touching on many things at once and accomplishing many things at once and being scattered that way. It's, it's all in the way we perceive and it's all in the way we look at things and how we're handling them that makes the difference. Like I said one day on a video, two people can do the exact same thing, but their motive can be off. And that uh, makes a difference. We have the chariot coming out as well. That chariot, boy, that comes out quite a bit. And um, it's about victory. It's uh, the sign of cancer. It is a high arcana. So we've got two high arcanas out here, the death card and the chariot card. This is about movement and victory and having self-control and willpower within that. Um... There's been a lot of suffering and a lot of grief. Um, all I can do is speak about my own experience on this channel. I don't have anybody to talk to. I talk to you guys. And uh, I said on that last video, I'm not a narcissist. Um, I watch a lot of my videos. Um, I get different downloads from things. And sometimes I just look at, I, over and over, I look at my mannerism. Because I, I, I want to be humble. I want to... Um, be that teacher that can help guide in a positive direction and but anyway and that's kind of what the chariot is about um, having willpower and self-control but it's about victory and it's about moving forward we do have energy here about um, some people want to win at all costs beautiful energy as long as you're doing it in an upright fashion but if you're doing it in a heartbreaking suffering I'm going to make you grieve and and poke you at every chance that I get and I just don't care I'm going to take the sword you know because the king of swords can come across as uh, somebody who's just really really sharp and just don't give crap they don't have no feelings it's just all about that sword and I'm going to win regardless. I don't give a rip. I'm going to win. I have to win. And that's really crappy energy <laughs> to be in. But I love that the death card is here. Things that, have, uh, that are hidden come into the surface so that you can either take that sword and cut things away that don't really need to be there. Uh, and face the truth and take this chariot card and um, uh, have the victory that you, you need. And truly walk in an abundance with this king of um, pentacles energy and win in that fashion and sometimes um, sometimes even losing is winning and I know that that <laughs> that sounds kind of off the wall but um, it's like when you humble yourself you also get lifted up or if you lift yourself up you're going to be humble it's kind of like one of those kind of things we have temperance at the bottom so another higher can is the card of the ninth house Sagittarius about balancing again and being balanced and uh, having a mixture it's about alchemy and how to learn how to mix together um, even though it, you've been bet betrayed and um, had competition and defeat and conflict and disagreements and things like that if you found yourself like you found me uh, whatever side it's on then both parties have to learn how to take this mixture and make something beautiful out of it um, being transformative and creating because the death card being the house of Scorpio over that card Scorpio represents um, um, creating things they are a great creator of things so you can create something in the positive or the negative it's a very very powerful energy um, death makes us or breaks us really depression comes out of death um, and we've all we've all lost things that have made us depressed but we've also been to funerals before where we've celebrated a person's life as well so death and life they go together hand in hand but temperance is about finding the truth we've got the king of swords is all about the truth as well and making that the law within us on the inside that this is the law that I'm going to go by and I'm going to you know be victorious in having that control and moving with my willpower and self-control and getting that victory every time regardless who says what and what kind of things happen to me and what kind of heartbreak it, because listen we live in the real world and this world is just sucky a lot of the times um, because people aren't taught correctly um, we're not taught how to have self-control we're taught to be a doggy dog world per se you know um, I want to take a couple cards here from this deck. 
grace. And see, grace also goes with the number five. I was just looking at this five of swords, which is about um, competition and defeat, and but it's also about reconciliation. Um, laying things to rest and reconciling. Beautiful. Making amends. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't grace, it was growth, but... <laughs> That had to come out for some reason. I didn't just say that. The Spirit had me say it. Uh, growth, so that's earth energy. Growing. Um, taking things easy. Taking things slow. And uh, making something beautiful. The, the temperance. I talked the other day about the temperance um, representing, you know, getting in your kitchen and taking a bunch of different ingredients and making one thing out of it. It's beautiful. So having growth and doing it in a new way because of the death card being here. Somebody's suffering through this death process and um, you're going to be okay. The Spirit says you're going to be okay if you just keep moving forward and, and, and keeping your mind in a place of being positive. As long as you keep watering that with all this earth energy here, you're going to get movement um, within the seed that has been sown in the ground. Somebody's dealing with people who are just, they, again, I'm going to win with that because they don't care. They just don't care. The, the, the pride level is so high. Uh, you just have to stay tempered within that. And that's not always easy. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. But it's not impossible. I'm going to take the risk. Somebody's going to take a risk. Or, you know, whatever the risk is, Elohim. And, uh, and again, this is eight. The victory, again, coming out. Popped out here. And no more hunting. That's beautiful if somebody's been hunting, and we've talked about that a lot on this channel, in the lower animalistic state. That's beautiful. I believe in you. And I've said that before. I believe you can do it. I believe that you can, you know, take this King of Swords energy and chop away uh, the wickedness and be victorious and, and take that responsibility and move slow within that and get your victory. And, and, Find that new hope. Find that new hope. And there's victory within no more hunting. <laughs> That's beautiful. I want to see what's at the bottom. Oh, Elohim. And collaboration. And it, you know, it takes teamwork. It takes teamwork to make things work. Um... I didn't mean to go this long on this video. Okay. We got the T and the F to 26, which is the 8. That is amazing to me. So we went over the um, the 8 in that other video, and I'll link it below as well. But it's about personal power, business, movement, strength, and new beginnings. And with that death card here and the chariot moving forward, it's new beginnings. We also had a couple more come out here, but I don't feel like I'm supposed to look at them. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, except I will take one of these Uno cards out here and see what color vibration uh, we're dealing with. And so this video, whoever's watching it and whenever you found this video, this will apply to you because there's no time frame on spirit. So if it resonates, it resonates. One card, please. Okay, we got a lot of green. Well, we got. Okay, that one's the one we're supposed to take. And that one, I guess. So we've got um, green and yellow, which make blue. I think green and yellow make blue. Um, the number two. Two can also be. Um, well, the second house is Taurus. That also has to do with business. That has to do with uh, the ox. Um, 
within the cards, being strong, being a leader. Um, actually, the ox um, in the Hebrew means the leader of the clan or the family or something of that nature. Um, it's also the B, and it's about being positive. And, you know, the, the yellow is about enlightenment and having understanding. Um, we talked a lot about yellow. Yellow also represents in the negative being cowardly and afraid and sick and all that kind of stuff. That uh, This channel is always meant for high vibration, even though sometimes it, something has to come out like that king of swords to cut away stuff. Um, just like when you have an operation. Um, to be whole again sometimes you got to go within the body and remove something and then sew it back up and even though you're going through this process of being sore from the um, actual surgery it's positive and so this is what I'm seeing with this um, two right here the um, high arcana would be the um, high priestess which is both um, Pisces and Virgo energy and that's about thinking and, and, and also things that are secret and that's fine to have secret things um, as long as you're in your upright you know and, and if things have died beautiful um, let things die and heal because that's what the green is about is, is growth and um, vitality and being stable and having security and and then look at this there's two arrows here and to me that's like that um, when I see this card, I see a couple different things. I see two people go in two different directions, which is fine if things are ready to exit. You go your way, I'll go my way, kind of a thing. But it's also when I look at this, I see something that's even and um, fair as well. I, for some reason, I just see it like scales or something just being fair. And with green and yellow making blue, blue has to do with um, being calm and and um, having power and um, makes me think of the sky, the heavens as well. And the sun is in the sky as well. And, you know, the sun represents our heart and the sun goes in every sign. And so... Um, this is about having our heart grounded within a new cycle, a new beginning, within a change, something that's been cut away from, you know, things that have been unbri unbridled ambition with, you know, uh, somebody uh, that you've been dealing with or whatever your situation is. So uh, that's what I have here. Um, we have the star here, which is an eight. <laughs> I just picked up the which is beautiful the star is about healing and rejuvenation and guidance and good health and inspiration faith and being blessed and I just went all over went over um, everything about the star um, within the word bear and I'll, I'll link that below so I hope you guys are having a fantastic day um, you never know with me I might hop in later uh, might just hop in tomorrow I, you know I'm really just myself I'm trying to heal from all this kind of stuff that's happened and you guys know you've been following me on this channel whoever all of you are I hope that I am inspiring to you um, because even though I'm experiencing negative things on the other side it's actually inspiring me to to grow and to be grounded and to change and I'm being forced to um, have to operate within this temperance myself um, and finding truth within all of this and still finding a smile even though my babies are gone, my grandchildren, my family have, have I mean I've, I've experienced a literal death in so many ways it's um, I don't have to keep going on because you guys understand uh, where I'm coming, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from um, you know where I'm at so <laughs> fat and and uh, teeth. <laughs> the 20 is resurrection. That's beautiful. The T uh, is um, the number 20. So it, it is, it's resurrection. It's still Scorpio energy. It's second chances, which is beautiful. And the F is the sixth. Um, which is 
the lovers making decisions, the Gemini, um, which is also the third house is, is here with the three of swords. And I went over the three yesterday, I think, on a video. Um, six is, is the number of a man. It's um, also, like I just said, it's the lovers which represent making a decision. Um, and then the sixth house is Virgo. Um, I'm getting fat teeth, but teeth represent, in the spiritual, it represents wisdom, which is beautiful because we need to chew in a higher way than, than just down here all the time hunting and things like that. Um, no more hunting. And so, that's beautiful. Because this has to do with death. A lot of this stuff has to do with death and rebirth. And, um both spiritually and naturally. So take what has been said in both these videos, please, and chew on them, and uh, chew the fat, and uh, begin to move in a new direction, because like I said, the eight came out here. Again, that's beautiful. New beginning, movement, and uh, take the chariot and, and uh, use that movement for for will, in in the uh, function of will, having willpower within your function of what you're chewing on and uh, get gain the victory and I'll just leave it at that so uh, until next time shalom guys.